when you do take that responsibility for your own individuation, uh, you're becoming, you're, you're breaking an ancient chain because of that intergenerational pattern. Mm -hmm. You're doing great service, a great service for the coming generations. Yeah. Because you're now, now you're not passing on that pattern. Mm -hmm. You're able to, to your children to kind of reset the, reset the, the, the system. (laughs) Reset the system. Yeah. A reboot. (laughs) Where it's more adaptive and more flexible. Mm. If you think about what is that quality that we call a a well adjusted individual is that they're, they're flexible. They're cognitively, emotionally, socially flexible Mm -hmm. instead of being rigid. Mm -hmm. And that's what individuation gives to to you personally is that it it allows you to work with different situations in a flexible way. So instead of looking at things with a very tight lens, you're actually opening possibilities. You're seeing people for their uniqueness versus that projection and assumptions that we typically unconsciously carry and we're really giving people not only us freedom to be ourselves and individuals but not put labels on others that's right not say oh that person is doing this so they must be this kind of person and you put that judgment on that person and say saying well okay maybe that person's you know like a more openness to who that is beyond just their their surface behavior or their initial reaction that first impression that Mm -hmm. you get from people And, and because it is a system when you change the whole system changes, mm. meaning you're allowing now for the possibility of everyone transforming mm. uh, in that system. One of the beautiful things I saw is that, you know, I beca- went from being just um, a worker to do, taking on like energy healing and hypnotherapy and all those things uh, before I became a coach. And uh, when my dad was sick, I took the role of the healer, which I w- no one would have attributed that to me as my younger self. But it was, and then how the family accepted that, and how my father was so thankful and appreciative. Mm. And so you can change, you can uh, impact, like you think your family won't accept you. <laughs> like when I had my book signing in New York, I remember my parents were there, and I was like, oh, they're kids, get weird. I'm going to talk about personal growth. And, and that my parents, you know, and they loved and they thought they were so proud of me. And um, it's like we think that they're not going to accept us when we step into who we really are and express our gifts. But it's really interesting. If you believe it's who you are, you will see the shift. And the, all, there, the only resistance you see out there is your own resistance. And yeah. so that's the one of the lessons I learned. So don't be afraid to be who you are and express who you are. Absolutely, because that's the It helps be- everyone. Yeah, the best thing we can do for others is to be ourselves. Mm-hmm.